Peter's Friends is a British comedy uh, directed by Kenneth Branagh and released in 1992. Yes. Uh, well, this one's actually set a new year, which is mm. about to happen. Yes. Because it's now the end of 2017, so we thought we'd choose a, a new year film. It's not actually a <laughs> pleasant one, because it's quite... It's, well, no, it's, it's, it's a comedy. It's a comedy, but with some... Uh, Drama and I guess, some drama and, and some sad moments. sad moments. Yeah, yeah. it stars uh, Stephen Fry, a uh, great loved British comedian. Uh, he plays Peter, the the main title of the film. The first thing we see is a bunch of university friends, and they're doing a kind of dance routine uh, at at someone's house. Um, it turns out to be Peter's house. Um, and then then you have the introduction of the film, and then it jumps about ten years later. And Peter has decided to invite all his friends back again, who have now, you know, all jotted around the world doing different things. And he invites them back to his rather large mansion in the countryside. Well, his, his father's recently died. His so father's he's... recently died, so he's now kind of acquired the house mm. himself. And he invites all these friends back for a New Year's party. And amongst those friends are different, where well, you've got, um, there's a couple played by Hugh Laurie and Imelda Staunton. They are uh, jingle writers, mm -hmm. but they've also had a tragedy in their lives, so there's a bit of complication going on there. Then you've got uh, Emma Thompson, who, uh, she is a, a publisher, I think. Yeah. She lives by herself, she's a bit of a kind of single... Bit of a crazy cat lady. Bit <laughs> of a crazy cat lady, indeed. And then you've got Kenneth Branagh himself. And he is a what is it, a, 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 play, a screenwriter mm. who's gone to Hollywood, and he's now he comes over and he's got a, an American wife in tow who is a bit. Uh, Which is a TV star. Isn't she? TV a star. And then you've also got um, Alfonsia Emmanuel who plays. Um, well, she's a costume designer. She's another one of the friends. She comes along with her current boyfriend in tow, played by Tony Slattery. Tony, what happened to him? I don't know. I don't know. He kind of but, vanished yeah. off our screens. Um, so they all come, and they all obviously it's it, you know it's a it's a kind of friends getting back together type film, and they all have their problems, and things come out, and arguments ensue, yeah. and it's it's very funny. I mean, it is essentially a, a, a kind of a, a remake of the Big Chill. Do you remember the Big Chill? Yeah, I think Which so. Which yeah. is a kind of an early eighties. It was an American film with um, well William Hurt is in there, and Kevin Klein, mm -hmm. Glenn Close, people like that, and it's basically they are a bunch of college friends who come back together after one of their friends had died. Right, so right. they come back for a funeral and then it, and it gets... So it's basically that, um, <laughs> but done you know, in a slightly different setting. There's lots of singing around piano. There's <laughs> lots of singing. Well, they obviously, I mean, it is... You know, they were this cast of... You know, it's members, but people that knew each other in university. Obviously, Stephen Fry, Hugh Laurie and Emma Thompson were in Footlights, Footlights being the famous Cambridge... Um, Theatrical, you know, lots, lots of uh, lots of British stars have, have come from. So yes, obviously there is lots of musical elements in the film. If that's not your thing, that's <laughs> fine. It's, I mean, it, it is. It's a British. It's a very British oh, feeling. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. that kind of musical theatre. Uh, and there's also obviously there's the Shakespeare link, which you know, because I think Kenneth Branagh and Emma Thompson and people like that were at Royal Shakespeare Company. So there's that link too. Um, it's a very theatrical film. Yeah, I think it's you know, you know, that's one side of, of British art that is quite big over here. It's theatre, obviously. I think you could probably see it being performed as a play. Yeah, I guess like you could stuff do stuff outside the house, but it could quite easily be. It could you know, be quite changed. easily be done mm -hmm. done like a play, certainly. Um, I mean, it's, it's it's directed by Kenneth Branagh, uh, who up until this point, uh, well, this I think was his third film. He did mm -hmm. a couple of Shakespeare films, uh, Henry V being one of them. Uh, and then he did Dead Again, which yep. also with Emma Thompson. Um, and who, of course, they were married yeah. at, at this point. And then after this one, he also did Hamlet, another Shakespeare one. Big <laughs> Shakespeare director, this guy. Yep. Um, and then he's been quite active recently. Yeah, I mean, a few years ago, he did the first Thor movie for Marvel. And yeah, last couple of months, uh, more Murder on the Orient Express remake. Yes, which I've not seen yet. No, me neither. No. Looks, looks quite good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um... So yeah, and then obviously yes, it is is full of you know Britain's kind of big comedy uh, actors. Yeah, it's all comedy Fry royalty, really, isn't it? It pretty it? much yeah. is. Yeah, I mean it's you know it, it's it's good and it's 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 fun. I, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah. I have I saw it a long time ago, and then I saw it again the other night. Um, sort of bittersweet, isn't it? It's like uh, yeah, I mean it's it's not as yeah, it, it's very it's got some very funny lines in it. Um, there's a very funny line. Obviously, I won't give it away. There's very, I thought there was a very funny line at the end of the film. 
Um, but uh, I, I have to say, I found the American wife a bit cliche. Uh, maybe to today, you know, I mean, it's a, it is early nineties. It feels very nineties. It feels it actually feels quite eighties because a lot of eighties music in mm, there. There is, lots yeah, of, yeah. You know, of, um, there's big mentions of things that were very prominent mm. at the time at, the, at that point, and we can't mention one of them because that would give most of the film away. But um, there is, you know, it's it's very of its time. Yeah. I think. I think I mean, it's not entirely dissimilar in, in you know in style to Four Weddings. I think. No. Which was only out, you know, a couple of years that's, later, wasn't it? That's true. Yeah, I just yeah. I think I just found her character to be. I mean, she's kind of she's very into her look, and there's obviously the 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 eating overeating thing comes into play, and then she's you know working out all that. Just her character to me just felt a bit cliche. Mm. And I think nowadays she would be a bit over the top and cliche, um, but it's kind of one of those staple things you sometimes find in these British, British comedies. They yep. can have quite a serious side, but then they can have kind of a silly side as well. Yeah, so it is. So it's twenty twenty years old, thirty years old, thirty years old, nearly. Yeah. Um, so twenty five years old. Twenty five years old. <laughs> Let's, yeah. Let's get the maths right. <laughs> So you can probably see it. Can you get it anyway? Yeah, you can pick up the DVD dirt cheap. Um, here it is. Uh, it's, yeah, not really got much in the way of extras on it. Um, and I'm, it's a bit of an old DVD, so it's non-anamorphic, right. horrible DVD. I remember these there. ones. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, you have to stretch it to fit your widescreen telly, which is quite annoying. But considering that, it wasn't. You know, the picture's not that bad. So um, I don't think. If you if you don't want to if you want a slightly better DVD then you can import it from the US uh, if you're that bothered. Um, I don't think there's a Blu-ray or anything as of yet. No, so. possibly never will. Be. Who knows? Maybe not. Who knows? Indeed. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah. So that was Peter's friends. Yep. And uh, well, firstly, we hope you have a you know happy new year mm. and all that. We will be back next year, hopefully. No, we'll be back. Um, we've got loads of great things that we'd like to talk about and, and you know, put up on the channel. So have a great new year. Don't yep. drink too much. All that kind of crazy stuff. Um, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all the other ones we've done so far. It's been about four months. Yeah. It's been pretty good. We've done some good films. Uh, yeah. So um, if yep. you like it, give us a like and uh, leave a comment. You know, quite nice to have a discussion with some of you. And check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Yep. Definitely do that, yep. And we'll see you next year.